All right, ladies and gentlemen, we next turn our attention to the middleweight ranks of glory. Please welcome to the ring, Zach Wells. Twenty-eight-year-old Zach King of War Wells appearing for the first time under the Glory banner comes in with a record of two and zero, oh, both wins via form of knockout. He is fighting out of Westminster, Colorado, under Ludwig Martial Arts. There you see Dwayne the Bang Ludwig. I guess there's no gun. It's just Bang Ludwig, and of course someone we know very well, Stephen, a mixed martial arts veteran and a disciple of the one and only El Wapo Boss Rutan. Yeah, Dwayne Bang Ludwig, having him in your in your corner is really going to boost your confidence because he's trained champions such as T.J. Gillishaw, the UFC champion. But Zach Wells is going to want to keep his range here and really work on the outside because he's got the kind of right hand he just touches you and you go. You know, boxing has the four kings, really should be five with Wilfred Benitez. Wells admires what you could call the three kings of uh, kickboxing, Andy Sauer, Buakal, Benjamin, and Masato, especially the international triumvirate. There have been so many terrific kickboxers, especially at heavyweight. But when you look up to guys like that, you have to know you're a student of the game, and, and he has a lot of potential, this Zach Wells. They, he really does, because those three guys, they say it all. They're fast, they're technical, and they're big enough to do damage, but small enough to really put on a show. And Buakal, Benjamin, considered the best Muay Thai fighter to make the transition over to kickboxing. Next to make his way to the glory ring, Chris Trammell. It is a night of debuts here on the Glory Super Fight Series. 35-year-old Chris Trammell with a record of five and one, two knockout victories. He's fighting out of Boulder, Colorado. Trains at the Eastern Training Center under Tony Cummings. Trying to spread a positive message. Has led a bit of a nomadic life. In fact, uh, 21, he moved to Las Vegas and helped build the Extreme Couture Gym from 2003 to 2006. Spent countless hours Working with a, a list of fighters like Randy Couture, Forrest Griffin, Gray Maynard, Phil Baroni, so on and so forth. Just being around all those talented fighters under a gym named Couture by the great Randy Couture, that's a good place to get things started. But inside the kickboxing ring, he's definitely going to want to jump on Wells and turn it into a brawl, use overhand punches and go to the body. We are set for action in the Glory Middleweight Division. Chris Trammell against Zach Wells. And it's impossible to ignore the five inch height advantage that Zach Wells has here. Combined with his reach, Wells should be able to control the distance unless Trammell can get on the inside and bruise that body. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the middleweight ranks of glory. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner, trained in karate in Muay Thai. His young kickboxing record perfect. Two wins, no losses, both wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, four inches tall, 1.93 meters. He weighed in at 186 pounds, 84.5 kilos. He fights tonight out of Westminster, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Zach, King of War, Wells. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the wide corner, trained in Muay Thai. His record, five wins with one loss, two of those wins coming by knockout. At five feet, 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters. He weighed in at 187 and one half pounds, 85.1 kilos. He's here tonight from Boulder, Colorado. He is Chris Hedtrama Trammell. The referee in charge of the glory ring is Oscar Martinez. Stay in your corner. 
Stay in your corner. Oscar Martinez overseeing this middleweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Judge. The bell in round one, a couple of glory rookies set to do battle, and they get off to a quick start. Right hand by Trammel looking for that spinning back fist that misses, and Wells immediately looking to use his long limbs to his disposal. Thought that was a knockdown with the front kick, but Trammel was Fight. off of balance. Trammel was throwing a jump roundhouse kick in the process, and Wells caught him in midair with a front kick. In his last kickboxing contest, Trammell, who almost ate a knee there from Wells. I'm loving this battle. Brian Scraper in the final 30 seconds of their fight last November. He broke his ribs in the first round and has been out ever since. I'm loving this battle because Chris Trammell's doing the right thing, coming in brawling, doesn't want to be at distance. In Wells' last kickboxing bout, he stopped Michael Matthews via third round TKO, and Trammell, aggressive start, trying to get on the inside of the much Taller, longer, Zach Wells. A minute gone in the opening round. Trammell resets in the center of the ring, and Wells, much like our glory heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoeven, look, using that rear leg as a jab, the front kick, trying to keep Trammell at distance. That's a great weapon, and it's very under, underutilized in combat sports. Usually they throw that front leg. Right hook around the guard by Wells. There's the selfie stick jab by the King of War. Just past the midpoint in the opening round. Wells misses with the left hook, but then catches him with a jolting right cross. That's, that's really close to this fight ending. And Trammell hemmed in the corner. And Trammell down he goes, courtesy One, of the Wells right hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine! All's Wells, that ends Wells! Zach Wells wins his glory debut via first round knockout! That was nothing short of impressive. Zach Wells was technical, he was aggressive, and he was dangerous. A member of the Society for Creative Anachronism, people who like to create history. He likes the fighting aspect. Well, he's looking to make his own history here in glory. He improves to 3-0, and all three wins via finish. That kid's going places, seriously. That right hand of his, his left hook, everything he throws basically is gonna put you out of there. But look at that right hand. That almost ended the fight there, but up against the ropes, Tries with that knee underneath. There's that front kick again to the body. Oh, it's, see that right hand? I'm telling you, he throws that thing and you're gone. Chris Trammell tried, but his body failed him. Yep, and Wales rear front kick as good as advertised. The 28-year-old Zach Wells conquers his first opponent under glory rules. There's Dwayne Bang Ludwig as a trainer. I'm sure he's happy with what he saw, but always probably already picking apart his game, even though it was a fantastic finish. You're never satisfied as a coach. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. We have an official time of 1 minute 56 seconds of that very first round. Your winner by knockout, Zach Wells. Zach, that was nothing short of impressive. Did he hurt you at all when he bum rushed you early? Yeah, I felt the pressure. Uh, I felt his power too, sure. Maybe that woke me up a bit. Made me uh, sharpen up my game. I can't mess around. I can't let him do anything. I'm in control. Okay, so what's next to you? I mean, Mauro Ronaldo and I were very impressed with your performance, and we know you got a great camp with Dwayne Ludwig. Give us the breakdown on the future of Zach Wells. Uh, it's the sky's the limit. I, I train with Dwayne Bang and the Ludwig Martial Arts Grudge Training Center, Enshin Karate. It's a trifecta of doom, I'm telling you. 
Uh, Dwayne is master splinter, so he knows he knows what's best for me. There's a lot of middleweights fighting tonight, so you know, I, I think that maybe my future belongs with one of them. Good luck to you in the future. Let's hear it for him one more time. Zach Wells. Zach Wells started wrestling at eight, took up karate at 10, began Muay Thai and kickboxing at 18, and at the age of 28, he picks up his first win under glory rules to improve to three and oh. And again, that rear front kick, as well as the left and right hand were devastating weapons against Chris Trammell. And Zach Wells has served notice the middleweight division, one of the most competitive in glory, may have a new player in Zach, King of War, Wells. <laughs>